Kraut and Cornbread and Little Fiddlehead for you this evening. Um, as he had stated, um, my focus here was indigenous food ways. Um, I brought forth uh, natural preservation and ways that we've been pres preserving food for thousands of years and used them in an artistic fashion. So not so much in ways that may have been done a hundred years ago, but in a way that we could think about using different items and different purposes. Um, as he had stated, I grew up abroad. Uh, I was born in Youngstown, Ohio. Left there at an early age when I was two, raised in Michigan. Um, from there is where my culinary experience really took off. Uh, my parents got divorced. My mom went to night school, left me home to cook at like eight. I was forced to cook for myself. Um, you know, talking fried bologna sandwiches, mac and cheese, sloppy joes, you know, all the fun stuff. But I was there to, uh, you know, cook for younger cousins and stuff that we were taking care of at the time. Um, that happened, you know, my mom moved back to Indian Island, so that's probably where I transitioned back to Maine started. My dad lived in Maine, he was a barbecue person, so he was consistently in the grill, um, in the garage actually, basting stuff with beer, basting stuff with barbecue sauce, always homemade salads. Um, him and his, my stepmother uh, were a great influence on me, trying to learn how to use fresh products. And, uh, so from there, you know, I kind of married the two together between what I've learned. My mom always was a cooker as well. She liked to cater parties for the families um, and so on and so on. So as I was growing up, I kind of taught myself a lot. I cooked for 20 years, 22 years before I even stepped foot into a class, which I just graduated a year and a half ago from Eastern Maine Community College. Um, got the highest degree in my class and I, beg my pardon, but I'm not a very vocal speaker. Um, and this is why I, I won the award in my class, was because when I faltered, I always tried to attempt to do it again and again and again. And one thing I did falter on when I was going to school was speaking um, <laughs> in public crowds. Uh, so when I was approached with an outline. So from Michigan, I moved to Maine. So naturally, 
Dan's like, bring it out, you know. So I kept the bands on, I brought this thing out, you know, I had to two-hand it, you know, so I bring it out, I'm comfortable with these things, they're not gonna get you, you know. I bring the thing out and I watch this guy, not only is he a millionaire and held three belts in the WFC, cower down from me because I was holding this belt. <laughs> like literally just backed up into a corner and I was I felt like this <laughs> but it didn't happen to that, and you know, that was that was very gratifying for me. And I, that kind of built, kind of made me realize that, yeah, this is what I want to do. I want to go for famous people, you know. You know, if I'm in a bad mood one day and then I have that power to pick up a four and a half pound lobster and make someone else power to do that. <laughs> but you know, uh, overall, you know, I really enjoy food, I enjoy all aspects of it, I enjoy it. The, the catering, the concessions part, which is no glory in that, but you know, it's fast, it gets people jobs, you know, I employ 75 people on any given show day, most of them are moms and pops and high school students, to be honest, you know, um, and teach them different stuff and, and let them know my life lessons and, you know, what not to do. I've got, you know, tons of great kids that work for me that can really benefit from my experiences and stories. Um, but, you know, I guess the message is that, you know, regardless, you know, what path that you've taken up to this point and, you know, what material spoon you've been given, that, you know, as long as there's passion, there's a little bit of ambition behind you that, and the message I'm trying to build is that they can do it, you know, regardless if it's food, you could be a welder, you could be a construction worker, you could be anything, you know, all you need is just a little bit of passion and a little bit of guidance and just the tiniest bit of support and you can get the job done. Thank you very much. So, as you know, not all farming is for fruit production, but to the extent that it is.